Hello everyone, this is Andrew McNair from Swan Capital with our informational economic update for February 2020. In this month's video, I want to discuss some recent headlines that influenced the financial markets in January, but also distill for you what these actual events mean for you as an actual investor in the stock market and share with you our perspectives here at Swan Capital to help you make better financial decisions for the future. Now, as always, please stay tuned at the end of this video for some required disclosures statements. Now, if you haven't been paying attention to news lately, a virus affected stocks in January. The coronavirus weighed heavily on equities worldwide. Traders wondered what could this mean? Could quarantines and travel bans hurt corporate earnings? Now, if you look at major indices, they were mixed. The Dow actually lost 1%. The S&P 500 lost 0.2% and the NASDAQ actually rose 2%. Now, if we turn our focus to trade, US and China have finally signed off on a partial trade deal, which could possibly lead to a larger one, which is fantastic news for our partnership in trade. Now, we actually reduced some tariffs on China, and in turn, China pledged to buy more American goods. And police counterfeiting actually has increased to a greater degree on Chinese fake goods. Now, China's economy actually grew 6% last year, which was sadly for them the worst year of growth since 1990. Now, if we turn our focus internationally, the United States, Canada, and Mexico agreement, the USMCA, was finally signed off by President Trump. And if Canada approves it, it will go into effect and replace NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, which has been a controversial trade agreement ever since its creation. Now, if we turn our focus to consumer confidence, it rose to a level unseen since August. And reports showed that consumer spending and retail sales and existing existing home sales went up in December. So as a consumer, many people think the economy is doing great. But markets are fixated on the coronavirus. Anxiety over this outbreak has led to many investors taking short-term profits. Now, this may continue in the short run, but in the long run, this is just one of many, many factors that affects the economy. So we should always remember that investing is a long-term game. We need to always remember our goals, our time horizon, and our risk tolerance when we make investment decisions. Now, that's it for this month's economic update, but I do want to share with you two events that you need to be mindful of. We have our client event, which is our cooking social, coming up very shortly that you'll want to make sure you look out for that invitation. But the other event that we're having is our annual shred week. That's an event where you can bring in as many goods as you can for us to shred for you. And when you bring in all those documents, we would love to get a copy of your tax return to add to your client file. I hope this has been an educational uh, commentary for you to help you make better financial decisions and better investment decisions. If you have any questions about your portfolio, maybe you're that you're taking too much risk, maybe that you're not taking enough risk, it might be a perfect time to schedule your annual or biannual review. And we'd love to see you soon on our next SWAN report next month.